and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between the great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. This is one of the great privileges of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to the members of this. Did you begin? What is your interpretation of the way they appear to be lining up? Well, if flexibility doesn't have an influence on this system, we truly are looking at an approach that is quite negative. But at least there is good scope to turn a seemingly deep line defence into a more dangerous attacking outfit. This system will allow plenty of attacking numbers without necessarily compromising on that discipline. It got on the way here pretty promptly. Dunk. Burn. Hoist it forward. No position to make that interception. Tielemans. Ndidi. Ndidi goes looking. Tielemans. Ricardo Pereira. Burn. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Brighton have a free kick. Burn. Dunk. Joel Feltman. It's too loose. It's both back. And he's there to hoof it away. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. Thanks for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. That's a throw. Well, Ray, he sorted that out. Well back. And Didi battles to win it back. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. Forward. What does he try from here? He gets past his man. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. I think we need to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Ricardo Pereira. Ndidi. Madison. And here's Vardy. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Madison. Tielemans. Tielemans cuts a frustrated figure right now. He just cannot get away. Oh, he needs a minder, and one of his teammates should be picking up on that, and quickly. Gross. Gross! Oh, that's a terrific save for the keeper. Oh, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Tielemans. Madison. Beautifully done. It's a loose ball. Balls over the line, and it is a corner. He's got options out wide. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Vardy. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Oh, he's broken through. And the finish! Superb goal! Well, let me assure you that scoring just before half-time is always a real treat. And when it's one of your top talents who delivers it, it just seems to fuel confidence that little bit more. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fill that defence into wonder what he was going to do next. Leicester, draw first blood here. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Johnny Evans. Forward it goes. And it's played forward. And that's well back. And that has been clubbed away.
Joel Feldman. And the half-time whistle goes. And here we are, off the go for half-time. We've been in the cover in the first half. But that's only been that long goal. It is very, very tight. <laughs> not the most convincing of the slays. They can certainly do much better than this. They want to keep things simple. Still not their confidence. They're not rushing for mistakes. And we're already into the second period. Well, I'm sure the managers talk the talk. And now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. Joel Feldman. Marty. Tielemans. Johnny Evans. Madison tries to switch the play. Tielemans. What an adventurous run from a defender. That's going to have to throw in. Burn. Gross. Burn. And he's there to cut it out. Marty already, of course, on the score sheet. And it's Vardy. Finds himself eased off the ball. Madison. Vardy. Madison has it in a wide position. So what next? Whistle's gone. That's a foul. Well, that's a foul. Which side of the line is that? No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. Well, that gets his final warning. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now, and he's in trouble. Brings it forward. Burn. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Perez, over it comes. Oh, real danger here! Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. He spotted the run and played him through. Ricardo Pereira. Perez. Almost 65 minutes on the clock now. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Back to the keeper and try something new. Bruce. Joel Holtman. Burn. Four goals. Keep going and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Madison, Mundini goes along. A buccaneering run for the defender. No missing about, just blottering away. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. And they did a better pass there. Ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Yeah, that does look a foul if he's given a free kick. Plenty of moving targets to pick out of the box. Obviously, increases your chances of performing better like that, though. Tell me. Joel Feldman. They're playing as if time is on their side, but it's, it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. Burn. That will annoy the manager. They're making themselves too predictable here. Ricardo Pereira. And helps available out wide. And Fardy! No mistake! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. <laughs> Two up and... And there goes the final whistle. Well, much worthy industry, but that alone, simply not enough. They are beaten by the better side. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Inevitable in terms of the result, but that doesn't tell an accurate tale. This was much closer than it should have been. They really don't beat. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and goodbye.